Hi everyone. What do you do if you have a piano student who really wants to learn a pop song, but they're finding trying to play the rhythm in the right hand of the melody really too difficult, and they also don't really want to sing and accompany themselves? Well, I've got a great solution for you in today's app. So let's take a look at it. The app is called NoteStar and it's by Yamaha and it's one of my favorite all-time apps. So let's check it out. Uh, I've just searched for, searched for NoteStar and you can see there on my screen, uh, it's the top result. And here's their kind of main dashboard, I guess. It lists all the songs that you've loaded into the app. The app is completely free and you pay for each song that you choose to download. You can also see on the right-hand side of the app, the word preview. These are 30-second previews, which are completely free. And I find these are great for or testing out whether a song actually sounds good, whether the student really wants to learn it before you actually go and purchase the track. So let's just take uh, Let It Be by The Beatles as a great example of a song that pretty much all of us will probably teach our students at some stage, particularly if you're teaching students about chords. So you can see here, what you get is the full sheet music. You also get the chords written above and you get the lyrics, which is great. And if I hit the play button, you'll hear the actual recording. It's a backing track. When I find myself in times of trouble so the great thing about this app, which no other app does that I know of anyway, is that it includes the original vocals. Now, this is fantastic because as I mentioned right in the introduction, one of the hardest things for students to do is to be able to play that rhythm. And it's not hard to see why. I mean, it's pretty tricky. And you know, that's kind of me going from how I know the song goes. I'm not even really taking note of all of those. If I try and work out this melody with a student and counting one eender, two eender, and all that kind of stuff, they're gonna give up on this way before they come close to learning it. So what I say is forget it. Goal number one would be to say, look, let's just play the chords and let's sing along to it. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. That would be my first goal for students. And even if you don't think the student's gonna go for it, try it out. I'm amazed at the number of students who have beautiful singing voices and they just need a little bit of encouragement to get there. So that's kind of goal one. Now, if they don't really want to sing, then your second option is to do something like this. Get them to play the chords and let the backing track singer on NoteStar do the work of the singing for them. And if I click on the uh, equalizer icon at the top, near the top right, I can actually turn down the piano. So let's make the piano really quiet. We'll leave the vocals up and we'll take it from the first bar here. So you can hear that now I've got control of the piano part and it's just like as if I was accompanying the singer. And it's so important for our piano students to get used to skills like accompanying and playing along with others uh, because it can be such an isolating experience, can't it, for them to be stuck in their studio just practicing with themselves all the time. So I think that's another great reason for using an app like this. Uh, now a few other options you've got, uh, where the three different size notes are, you can change the size of the music score. Uh, as I mentioned, you've got the equalizer or the mixer there, so you can choose the volume levels and you can turn certain parts right off if you want to. In the cog wheels, you've got a few different options here. You can turn on the metronome. You can change the speed. Now, this is really, really clever. So let's go to 75% speed. Uh, there's a few other options there we won't worry about right now, but I've just changed that to 75%. Let's go back to the very beginning. The clever thing is that it's not gonna change the pitch. Now you will find that the vocals start to sound a little bit weird after a little while, but it's a great way for students to be able to play along to a song that might be really too difficult at the full speed. So let's just explore uh, another song. So Piano Man was one that I've, I, I use it with all my students, but I had a student, Will, who you might've seen on my YouTube channel, play this uh, at a pop recital. And the problem was for his voice, C major wasn't quite right. So for his practice, 
in getting used to playing with the band that he was eventually going to be playing with in the concert, uh, we changed the key. So if I click the two sharps at the top right, you can actually see that we can change the key. And the best key for his voice was E major. It also happened to be the key of the harmonica that I was playing along with him. So now we've been able to change the key of this piece as well, which is pretty amazing. So let's just skip through to where he starts singing so you get an idea of how that sounds. Uh, actually, now this one is one of the songs in the catalog that doesn't actually have the original singer. So this isn't one that um, helps if the student doesn't want to sing. What I've used this one for with my student, Will, is just getting used to playing along to a backing track or a band because that's what he was eventually going to have to do in the concert anyway. So some of these pieces that are in here, they don't have the vocals, but you can see when you go to the full catalog, whether it is backing track or backing track and vocals, most of them have vocals. Uh, so let's just take one other, um, let's see, uh, let's go Wake Me Up by Avicii. This is a dance music song from a little while ago. Uh, and you can see this is quite a small score. And I'll just go to where the singer starts and hit play. So a four chord song, as many of these ones are, as you know, uh, we could easily turn down the piano uh, or turn off the keyboard even completely, and then the student can play along to it. And in actual fact, I've used this app live at a recital before with a student playing. Uh, he played Get Lucky by Daft Punk, and he played the whole thing with Daft Punk, the singer on the backing track app played through the PA system of the hall we were in, and he just loved it. It was amazing, and the parents did too because it was something completely different. So that's the basic overview of how Notestar works. As I say, you get the free previews. You can see how many songs I've actually previewed. You can see there are things like Canon in D. Now, of course, that doesn't come with vocals, that I don't think anyway. But you can see at the very top of my screen, it says buy now. I haven't bought this, but I've got a fair bit of the song that I can actually start working with. Um, and if you think about it too, a lot of students just like learning the opening of songs. Uh, take you know this example. Coldplay. Uh, so you could have a lot of fun with this app without even paying for the song, just using the preview if you didn't want to learn the whole piece. So that's a quick overview of Notesar. Go and grab it, download it. It's for iPad only at this stage uh, and it's a free app. Let me know too, how do you work with students on your pop songs? Do you encourage them to sing? And if you do, how's it gone? I'd be really interested here. Leave a comment below. Whoa, 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 where are you going so fast? If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please click the button over here and I've lined up another great video for you. You're gonna love it. And it's also over here. Click to play now and I'll see you really soon.